Hi again, my name is Dr. Sarah Wooten. I hope you are doing well. And I am here in this video to give you everything you need to know about the topic feline inappropriate elimination. So feline inappropriate elimination is, no pun intended, a big problem in our indoor cat population. Feline inappropriate elimination is one of the leading causes why cats are relinquished to shelters and lose their homes and potentially lose their lives because they cannot seem to do their duty in the box where you want them to do it. What is going on, right? So if you're watching this video, it's likely that your cat has peed or pooped someplace in your house that is not the litter box. And you may be at your wits end trying to figure out what's going on and you need some help. This video is designed to share with you, with you, all the knowledge that I have on inappropriate elimination, it is not designed to be a substitute for your local veterinarian's advice, nor is it medical advice. This is just what I know. So hopefully the stuff that you're going to learn in this video will help you to be able to help your cat and get all of the support that you need and the understanding of what is going on when they peed on your bath mat again. Okay, so let's get to it. What is feline inappropriate elimination, right? And this is so important. I actually have notes on this. So if you see me looking down, I'm consulting my notes because I got to get all of this information out to you guys in the right way. So when a veterinarian or a behaviorist talks about inappropriate elimination, they are talking about any time a cat urinates or defecates in the house, anywhere, other than inside the litter box. We talked about this feline inappropriate elimination. I'm going to call it F I E for short. Okay. It, it counts for about 50% of all behavioral referrals to veterinarians, half, half of it. And unfortunately is a leading cause of why cats are given away to shelters. Also scratching is another reason why people give up their cats, but this one is a big one. Before I get into this at all, it's really important for me to debunk a myth that seems to permeate the human collective consciousness about why cats do this. So let me tell you right now, your cat is not urinating or defecating outside the litter box. They're not being spiteful or revengeful or getting back at you. They simply cannot conceptualize on that level. This is not how a cat thinks. That's how a human thinks. And then we project our ideas onto the cats, but it's not true. And furthermore, it's not helpful. It doesn't solve the problem, right? So if your cat is doing this, your cat is sending you a message that something is wrong and they need your help. So urinating or defecating outside of a litter box has four main causes for them, right? Number one, cat has a medical problem. Okay, pretty easy. Number two, cat is marking his territory. Number three, cat is stressed. Number four, Cat doesn't like something about the box. So let's talk about these causes. First off, medical causes. You need to make sure that your cat isn't sick. The most common causes of FIE include bladder inflammation and infections, kidney disease, diabetes, diarrhea, constipation, arthritis, or anything that makes urinating or defecating painful, okay? So sometimes that Cats that have a medical issue will prefer to use a sink or a bathtub as a toilet. And we don't know why. We don't know why the cats are doing that. So if you know why, put that in the comment section right now, okay? So if your cat is going outside the litter box, the number one thing you have to do is get that cat checked out by a veterinarian to make sure there isn't an underlying health problem. And the other thing that's helpful is if you can bring in a urine sample. I know it can be challenging to collect urine from a cat but it could be helpful. Next, you have to differentiate between FIE, feeling in inappropriate elimination, and urine marking. <gasps> what is your cat doing? What's your cat doing? Those are two completely different issues. So male cats, especially unneutered male cats, mark their territory by spraying urine on both vertical surfaces like walls or furniture, 
and horizontal surfaces. And when they do this, it is usually caused by territorial stress. Another cat is moving in on them and they need to mark everything to make sure this cat knows to stay the heck out. So male cats that are spraying also use their litter box fairly normally. And they typically have a couple of strategic places locations around the house that they mark with urine. And a cat that is urine spraying will look differently than a cat that is urinating. A cat that is urine spraying will walk up to something, sniff it, turn around, their little tail will quiver, and then spray comes out. Where a cat that's urinating will typically walk up, sniff, squat, pee. Different, right? So if your cat is spraying, then that is a separate issue that we will not be addressing in this video because that is an entirely different topic. We're going back to FIE, all right? Back to FIE. So the third cause of FIE feeling inappropriate elimination is stress. Listen, there are a lot of things that can stress cats out. And I'm not going to go into them here, but if your cat has, if your cat or you have experienced any changes in the household, anything, anything that can be a source of stress. Um, other cats or other animals can be a source of stress. People coming to your house can be a source of stress. Changing the litter can be a source of stress. Changing, moving the furniture can be a source of stress. A mirror can be a source of stress. I have a whole video on stressing cats. So make sure to check that out because there is a lot of things that can cause stress and that can be, can be causing your cat to urinate or defecate outside their litter box. The fourth main cause is litter box aversion. The cat doesn't like the type of box. The cat doesn't like the hood. The cat doesn't like the plastic liner. The cat doesn't like the location of the box. The cat doesn't like the litter. The cat doesn't like how dirty the box is. The cat doesn't like that other cats are using the box. See, it just goes on and on and on and on. So cats will often drop clues that they have a litter box aversion because they almost always will eliminate on a horizontal surface. Right? So they're always going for something else. And they seem to target carpets, rugs, laundry, beds, and go for the same spots over and over and over and they don't use the litter box very much at or at all, or they use the litter box maybe to urinate, but not defecate or vice versa. These cats will also have a unique behavior if they do use their box, they will go into the box and then they will run out of it really quick after using it. Or maybe they'll sniff the box and walk away, or maybe they'll put two feet in and then they'll walk away. They're like, mm, I don't like this box there, or there's something about this box. It's just not for me, right? <laughs> That's what they do. Normal litter box behavior for a cat looks something like this. Cat happily walks into the box. Cat spends some time sniffing around the box and investigating the corners before choosing the perfect spot. Digs a hole, turns around, eliminates, turns around to check out their masterpiece and then covers it up with, uh, if it's feces, they cover it up. Sometimes urine, they don't cover it up. Then the cat is super chill about leaving the box and kind of walks out there slow. Anything else that the cat's doing when they're, they're in the box lets you know that the cat doesn't like what's going on in their litter box experience. So again, there are many reasons why cats don't like boxes. They don't like dirty boxes. You need to scoop it once a day um, or anytime you see stuff in there. They don't like high traffic areas and they don't like noisy areas. So this also includes furnaces and laundry rooms, which are unfortunately fairly popular places for people to put their cat box. But the cat box needs to be in a warm, quiet area. Comfy, right? Think comfort. Sitting next to the furnace when it, it turns on is really loud and scary. That's not very comfortable for your cat. Other common mistakes that can lead to a cat having a litter box aversion is having too few boxes. Experts recommend you have one more box than cats. So if you have two cats 
you have three boxes and so on and so forth. Behaviors do recommend putting a litter box. If you have multiple stories, put one on each level of your home. Also make sure that you're using a litter that your cat likes. Cats don't tend to like scented litter. We like scented litter. They don't like it. They like fine, sandy, unscented, clumping litter. Also cleaning the box with harsh chemicals can be very irritating. They don't like that right? So if you do, make sure to air that box out for several days or switch it out with another box while it's airing out. Also, cats don't tend to love hoods, liners, electronics, flashing lights, music. <laughs> we buy all those fancy litter boxes for us. Cats, they don't like them. Oh, one more. You might have a bully cat that's keeping another cat out of the box. So you're going to have to play detective a little bit and see what's going on if you have multiple cats to try and figure out who's causing the problem and if there is any bully cats that are causing litter box problems. So keep the boxes clean, conveniently located in quiet, comfy areas, have the right number of boxes, get rid of hoods, liners, plastic trays, use clumping unscented clumping unscented fine sandy litter and for most cats this does the trick here is some more tips if you have a, a new box if you're like okay well i have a hood and liner i need to buy a new box so buy something that is just a plain box that doesn't have hoods liners any of that stuff and if there is odor embedded in the old boxes this could also serve the pro uh, solve the problem. And then if your cat is going around the house, clean the areas where they have urinated or defecated with an enzymatic cleanser, such as Nature's Miracle. Great product, love it. These products break down the pheromones that cats leave behind. We don't smell the pheromones, but the cats do. And the pheromones remind the cat to go back to the same spot. So you need to break down those pheromones so the cat does not have the reminder to go back to that spot. If you're not sure where your cat is going, use a black light to find urine spots and then clean them thoroughly. You can also try putting furniture. If it's a horizontal surface, you can try putting furniture to block access to that area or you could put the cat's bedding and food right there as well. Most cats will not urinate and defecate where they eat and drink and sleep. So those are different ways to kind of keep the cat from going back to the same location. You may also need to do more to prevent the cat from going back to that area. So close doors, close closet doors, put your laundry away, put that bath mat up. Um, you can spray certain areas with a repellent spray, such as a citrus scented air freshener, which cats don't tend to like, or there is a scat compressed air spray that is a remote operated um, little air compressor that can keep a cat out of a location. And again, I have found that some people find success by putting the food and the water in the bedding bowls in the place where the cats keep going. Because again, those cats don't like to eat and drink where they eliminate. A completely different take on this um, uh, on this whole getting the cat to use their box again is to uh, purchase a new box without the hoods or the liners or anything and put it where they are going. So if your cat will not stop going, like say in your closet, put the litter box in there. As soon as the cat starts using it, slowly over a period of many, many days, walk that litter box day by day by day to the location where you want it to go. Keep your old litter box in the same place in case your cat wants to go back to it. But by this way, you can slowly train that cat to go in the right place. Remember, these tips will not help you if you don't know why your cat is peeing or pooping outside the litter box. So litter box problems can be extraordinarily frustrating. Um, but in many cases, with a little trial and an error, error, trial and error, you can learn what is bothering your cat and you can modify the situation. People tend to be more successful in remedying the problem if the problem has not been going on for very long. So if the problem has been going on for less than a month, you're way, gonna be way more successful in retraining that cat. And also you have to eliminate any sources of stress, right? So it's retraining the cat, 
and eliminating sources of stress. And you're also, people tend to be more successful if they have only one cat. Those tend to be kind of the markers of success that I have seen. Fortunately, if you don't fit into those categories, there's still hope. By working with a behaviorist or veterinarian, you can be able to help these cats find out why they're having the problem and fix it. In addition, there are medications that you can use for different reasons that the cats could be going outside. So don't hesitate. If you've tried all the stuff that I've told you and you're still having a hard time, don't hesitate to talk to your local veterinarian or a behaviorist. Make sure that cat is healthy and hopefully by uh, utilizing all of these different tools and strategies, you can help your cat stop having this problem. So that is all I have on this topic. Pretty big topic. If there's anything that you have found that has helped you, um, share it with the audience, right? Throw it in the comment section below this video. If you, um, if this was, has been helpful, uh, please let me know. Uh, if there are other topics you want me to cover, also please let me know by leaving comments below. And I will be back very soon with another video on feline healthcare topics and how to help your cat live a beautiful, long, wonderful life. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.